Been here a little bit. There's AJ's window. There's Steve's window. Our open sign. And today I'm going to test games, do check prices, maybe sell some stuff. Don't know. Um, first thing I'm doing is I'm checking this uh, Wii system. I had it in my basement. I sold the Wii yesterday, so let's see if. Well, let's see if it's a trend. Let me try again. I pressed eject. Okay, nothing came out. Empty Wii. That's what you. All, I always try and do. Like, I hope I get lucky and a good game comes up. What? Uh, here's a random lot of games that came in to the store today. Um, someone had told AJ that they had some games for him, and but they weren't specific. They didn't really know. So AJ said, "Well, just bring them in the store. We'll look at them," and uh, he did. But it turned out to be PS2, and AJ isn't really interested in PS2. So well, this is a rare game. I don't want it. And there's, as you will see, there's not a rare game here. But I said, "All right, I'll take a look at it because I like That's PS2s for the flea markets." I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You know, we got too much stuff as it is. But I can sell the stuff at the flea markets, and actually, we don't have a PS2 in the store right now, except for that one. Where you load the games on, which is actually a really interesting one. I've talked about it. You can burn games onto that PS2 in there. So if you have a really expensive or valuable game, you don't want to keep messing around with it, playing, taking it in and out of the case. You can put it on the hard drive there using the software that comes with it, and it will be there forever until the, I don't know, your place burns down and the hard drive crash. I really don't know. Anyway, um, so I looked at this and I said to the guy, because. I don't get excited by this stuff. So I said, listen, what do you want for this stuff, right? Before I looked at it, because uh, I saw, I knew there were two PS2s here. I, and I don't really know if they're going to work without testing. So he said, I don't know, 20, 25. So I plugged this one in, but I didn't hook it up. I just uh, pressed the power button and the eject button. The eject button came out smoothly. So I said, eh, safe bet, right? I said, all right, I'll give you 25. It does come... This I don't care, but it does come with. Uh, there was a game in a. Is there a game in here? It's not really a good game. Yeah, there it is. That's I can leave that in this. And if I take out this one, I can leave it in. I have a memory stick for each one. This has a. I don't. Is this is this work for the remote? This DVD is that what this is for? This attachment. Yeah, that's what this is for. This is so you can use it as a DVD player. Um, I don't think anybody's using their PS2 as a DVD player right now, so I'll probably just give it to whoever I sell it to. Um, 25. Uh, you know what? I didn't look in here. Let's see. Maybe it's like a really good game. I sincerely doubt it, but no. No. Anyway, uh, if, if either of these work, I'm, it's 35 bucks if I throw in a couple of no big deal games. And the controllers looked good. And I, I had a feeling that this guy took care of his stuff and it was well cared for. Anyway, that's my amazing pickup for today so far. Well, not even pickup, but drop off. Um, yeah, back to work. Okay, here's something you don't normally get to see uh, when I get something in, like a, a PS2 or actually when I buy it at a, a flea market or yard sale. You don't normally get to see me right afterwards whether the stuff works or not whether i i got a really good deal or i wasted my money well um this is what i'm gonna call a, a mediocre deal because i did get one solid ps2 the fat i got two working memory cards one working controller this thing the dvd remote an extra av and i got the power brick for a ps2 slim uh, what I didn't get was a working uh, PS2. I mean, it actually loads slow, and it won't read all discs, which is like if they're scuffed up in blue. And I got this, which you can see is for parts, L2, R2, buttons were no good. So anyway, not every deal is a great deal, especially when you're buying consoles, but I'm definitely okay on this one. All right, this little lot here is just overflow of stuff that AJ got he doesn't want. What I'm going to do is just take it to the flea market, and whatever I can get for it is fine. Um, I guess this is a, a dance pad for the GameCube. I might throw some of this away. This, this. These are backs to something. Uh, 
man. I'll save these. When I get married, you sure you don't want to save some of these steering wheels for when you get Mario Kart? Okay. All right, all right. That's probably garbage. Uh, charging station for the Wii remotes. Probably if I can get a dollar for that, it's fine. Don't care. This is flea market. You know, I have leftover. For what is this? Dream gear? Huh. So if you're worried about your weekend hunt, and this is some kind of whatever, I, I think I'm going to pull that out. Alright, uh. That's a lot of steering wheels. I don't get so many. Uh, here's a power brick. Oh, that plug. Okay, this. Uh. <laughs> All right. I have a Kinect sensor bar. What I'm going to do, start doing is just lotting Kinect games with sensor bars. I think I have some sensor bars in the house. So there are Star Wars, Hole in the Wall, Dance Masters, Motion Sports. None of these should have any real value. Skylanders. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just lot Skylanders figures with. Or maybe I'll sell a game and I'll bring out some Skylanders and say, here, buy the game, get some free Skylanders. I really don't know. I've never played Skylanders. 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 Maybe I'll just make big lots of Skylander games. FIFA Soccer. This is stuff I would put like $3 at the flea market. If they don't sell eventually, I'll just take the disc out of cases and make lots of loose discs on eBay just to ditch them. South Africa, Guitar Hero, American Idol. Okay, and Madden 08 rounds it out. Um, let's see uh, what happens. Maybe something interesting will happen. I don't know.